the International Olympic Committee has awarded the 1996 Olympic Games to the city of Atlanta. Well, I was uh, studying, I was doing my PhD uh, at Florida State University in Sports Administration and at the same time working for uh, housing department. So one day one of my supervisors came with a job description uh, showing me, look, there is a job opening at Georgia Tech campus and, and I r read it and Georgia Tech, meaning the Olympic Village, soon to be Olympic Village. So I came uh, to Georgia Tech in 1995, March of 1995. That was the busiest time basically for the Olympics or getting ready for the Olympics. And uh, I loved every moment of it. So the uh, Olympics changed the expectations of everybody whether people came to the Olympic Village during the Olympic Games or not necessarily uh, being in the village but after the Olympics seeing the, some of those old buildings definitely people expected a lot more and that one thing you know, changed the, our perception as well uh, instead of renovating piece by piece entire family housing, uh, old family housing apartments were leveled and built a new one 400 new apartment units that was uh, a brand new concept uh, in the U.S., but when uh, uh, GLC, Graduate Living Center, Undergraduate Living Center, all the apartment-style buildings were built to accommodate uh, athletes during the Olympics, then turn into residence halls, uh, that, 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 was, uh, that was one key. Uh, there is no single month, single week or single day on Georgia Tech campus that uh, I can't think of no construction, no renovation. So there is always trying to build new things, trying to do better. That was partially uh, what the Olympics brought to Georgia Tech, not only on the housing sense, also rest of the uh, campus, at least the beaut beautification part. So uh, Georgia Tech campus is ready for another Olympics.